Thanks to Intel for sponsoring this video. Intel Extreme Masters is a legendary production that hosts some of the biggest teams playing the most popular esports titles. And these events happen multiple times a year all over the world. Now, ESL has invited us to take a look behind the scenes at what it takes to run one of these types of shows. We've never done something like this before, and I'm super excited, so let's get to it. This event is featuring two main titles simultaneously, League of Legends and Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And I mean that literally. Esports League has split Oracle Arena in two, dedicating one side to each title, and they're being streamed live at the exact same time. The majority of the magic that you see on the stage itself, like all the physical effects and LEDs and all that fun stuff, is managed by a team of people that is sandwiched between the two stages, hidden by some black curtains, doing all of that stuff live. Now for the League of Legends matches, those are all hosted on Riot Games' own servers on Tournament Realms off-site. But Counter-Strike, on the other hand, is hosted here by ESL. That helps ESL because with Riot Games, they can't set up scripts on the server. For Counter-Strike, they actually can, and that gives them the ability to queue things that happen on the server to make effects happen on stage or for your own stream. That doesn't remove the job of the League operators, but it just gives them more control and more ability, which is pretty cool. For the majority of what people will see, the live streams, we have to move on to the main production control room. This area is just a sea of high-end battle stations and monitors and control panels absolutely everywhere. So to keep this manageable, we're going to go from group to group. First off, we have the fiber rack, and there is a lot of runs going to it. This is the main input for the entire control room, and this will include things like all of the different cameras, the in-between stage production area, the hosts, the casters, everything. Secondly, we have the audio mixing station. This is specifically for the broadcast, not for the stage. If you're watching the stream, this guy controls what you're listening to. Third, we have the graphics station. Any cool effects or awesome looking graphics that appear on screen are queued up by this guy. He has some really high-end custom broadcasting software running here, not XSplit or OBS, but we'll get more into that later. And fourth, we have the observer group. This is the group of guys that will get all the various in-game camera angles that can be switched to on the fly. And this is also where the instant replay machine is. This guy has to do instant replays manually. So if you see a replay on stream, it's because this guy was on the ball. And then fifth, there's the technical director. This guy controls what camera feed is actually being shown on screen at a specific time. The technical director will take cues directly from the row behind him, station number six, the producer row. This is where the live producer and creative producer will act kind of like puppet masters, making sure that all the other stations around them are doing the right thing at the right time so everything looks good for you guys at home. And last but not least is the recording and streaming section. This is where all of that stuff that we talked about earlier comes together and is transcoded into one video feed using Intel QuickSync on a Core i7 processor, the same ones the competitors are using. And then it is put up online through OBS so that you guys can watch it on Twitch TV. Yes, I did say OBS. They do use OBS for the final push. I assumed ESL setup would be extensive, but I never expected how elaborate it would actually be. I really appreciate them showing us around. They had to do it while the event was actually running, so hopefully you guys did like what we were able to show you in the end. Thank you to Intel for sending us to IEM Oakland 2016. If you guys want to see all the rest of our content, be sure to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips and hit the like or dislike button, depending on your feelings.